Chancellor of SRM University, the Minister of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, the Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, the General President of the Indian Science Congress, and from His Excellency, the Prime Minister of India himself. And in between all this, we will witness the release of the 98th IASC plenary proceedings and an awards ceremony. Thank you all very much. And we will be having the Prime Minister momentarily Thank in you. our campus. May I now request you all to rise for the invocation. May I now request the General President of the Indian Science Congress Association to present a bouquet to the Prime Minister of India. By way of a grand start to a mega event here at SRM, I now call upon Professor K.C. Pandey, General President Ixa, for the welcome address. Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, Shri Kapil Sibbal, Shri M. K. Stalin, Dr. T. R. Patmuthu, Dr. P. Ravi, Dr. P. Satyanarayanan, members of ISCA Council, Nobel laureates, distinguished Indian and foreign scientists, ISCA awardees, honorable ministers, honored guests, media friends, dear delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Namaskar, Vanakkam, good morning. On behalf, behalf of and Indian other Science Congress, still celebrated for their foundational contributions to the field of mathematics, astronomy, and chemistry, to the, in the inordinate strain, slackness, corruption, and inefficiency. It encourages selective study. Thank you, sir, very much. With I now call on His Excellency, Excellency, the Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, for his address. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, Honorable Union Minister Thiru Kapil Sipil Ji, General President Indian Science Congress Association, Professor K.C. Pandey Ji, Chancellor SRM University, members of the organizing committee, Honorable Union Ministers, State Ministers, MPs and MLAs, distinguished scientists, Nobel laureates, ladies and gentlemen, Vanakkam, and a very good morning to all of you. I am very happy to attend the 98th Indian Science Congress being held in Tamil Nadu, a land which has produced three of the four Nobel laureates of Indian art in science transformed into a resource and asset. 
the products of the Indian universities are currently. Thank you, sir. May I now call upon the distinguished Minister of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, Sibyl, to address this Mr. August body. Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, Honorable Prime Minister of India, my colleagues in the Council of Ministers, Shri M. K. Stalin, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Professor K. C. Pandey, President of the 98th Indian Science Congress, Professor Geeta Bali, the President-elect of the 99th Indian Science Congress, Dr. T. R. Pachamuthu, Chancellor SM University, distinguished members of the scientific and academic community, delegates from abroad, media personnel, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, I recall that you had announced to the Science Congress last year that the government had declared the decade of 2010-2020 to be the decade of innovation. Sir, true to your word, you have followed up on the announcement by setting up the National Innovation Council to prepare a roadmap for the decade of innovation based on your recognition that the socio-cultural context of our part of the world is quite different from that of the Western world. Thus, the approach and methodology for creating an inclusive and sustainable innovation ecosystem has to be essentially our own, that is, Indian. Also, our demographic dividend arises from the emergence of a rising notable exceptions. Thus, while individual excellence in research is sporadic, the goal is to raise the average <coughs> to a higher Last level. Last year, a little less than one-third of India's scientific publications have emanated from the university sector. This is commendable because India's growth rate in scientific publications averages around 12% per annum during the last three years as compared to the global growth a merit -based rate of about four. accessible quality education system and excellence in research as a mission, India will become an innovation superpower by 2030. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I now draw your attention to the dais where the Honorable Prime Minister of India will be releasing the 98th Indian Science Congress plenary proceedings. Mr. Prime Minister, the MK Single Memorial Award goes to Professor Parameshwaran Shankaran, case of India. Mr. Prime Minister, my esteemed friend and cabinet colleague, Shri Kapil Sibal, my other cabinet and ministerial colleagues in the audience. Shri M. K. Stalin, the Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Dr. Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan, Nobel Laureate, other distinguished Nobel Laureates present, Professor K. C. Pandey, Professor Geeta Bali, Dr. T. R. Panchmushu, distinguished delegates to the Indian Science Congress. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be here in Chennai. I wish the people of Tamil Nadu a peaceful, prosperous, and fulfilling new year. I am very happy that every new year begins with an opportunity for me to meet some of our most distinguished scientists. Ladies and gentlemen, Tamil Nadu has a unique place 
in the world of Indian science. India Prime Minister, for those inspiring Nobel words here at SRM. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the General President of the Indian Science Congress Association, Professor Pandey. The Honorable Prime Minister of India, the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, the Honorable Minister of Human Resource Development, as the General President of Indian Science Congress Association, and other dignitaries on the dais, delegates, and dignitaries. As the Chief Patron of the Indian Science Congress, and as the Chancellor of SRM University, it is indeed a great privilege to me to propose a word of thanks. In a democracy of thought, there is no hierarchy. Therefore, we all who are gathered here have an opportunity to participate equally to make this 98th Indian Science Congress a great success. We hope that the next few days that we are going to spend in the beautiful ambience of our university will always remain. Today, in your memory on the dais, we have our Honorable Prime Minister who introduced economic liberalization policies which resulted in a strong Indian economy and which now has become the envy of even the developed countries and the model to be emulated. And also we have with us our Honorable Minister for Science and Technology and Human Resources Minister who with, with his zeal and commitment has opened the doors for private participation to supplement the efforts of government. From this you, result, the great scientist, India and the world looks many things from you. I am sure you will achieve it. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The inaugural program has come to an end. May I now request you all to rise for the national anthem and remain standing as the procession led by our Prime Minister leaves the dais.